Welcome to Hiroshima, Japan. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the culture of watching movies in Japan on the opposite side of the world. When a foreigner comes to Japan, the first thing that they realize is that the movie experience is very similar, but it's just a little bit more special. Why special, you say? Well, we're going to go take a look. When buying your tickets in Japan at the movie theaters, you not only have to reserve your ticket, but you also have to reserve your seat. They have these computer systems and you can get your tickets from either a person or at the machine. So for popular movies, you might want to get your ticket ahead of time because you're not sure what seats are actually going to be left and you might be stuck on the end. One thing about the Japanese movies that is different is the title. It could be completely different. Not only is it going to be in the Japanese language, but it might be a completely different meaning. Napoleon Dynamite was titled Bus Man. Fast and the Furious, Wild Speed. Karate Kid, Best Kid. Up becomes Grandpa Carl's Flying House. Not only do you want to be careful about the titles, but it could take two to six extra months before the movie to be actually released just because it takes so much time to really get the subtitles together and do the whole localization so that it is expressed properly to the Japanese audience. One thing that you need to check when you're buying a movie as well is if it's in Jimaku or Fukikai. Jimaku means subtitles, and so the movie will be in its original language and it will have its subtitles in Japanese below. The training sun, bearing, rage, torpedo in the water, starboard beam, 400 yards, sir. Fukikai is dubbed. Believe you me, I was surprised when I saw my first Japan movie and it was Fukikai. I had no idea what was going on. Of course, there's no English subtitles at the bottom. Pricing system here for movie theaters is about 1800 yen for a Japanese movie, which is about 15 US dollars. They have a lot of different unique discounts, though, that I like to take advantage of. The one especially is Happy Night, or when you go see a movie that is after 8 p.m., you get a 500 yen discount, so roughly five US dollars. Other coupons include Happy Morning, which is 500 yen off for any movie before 11 a.m. Happy Monday, Couples Day, Ladies Day. One thing different about Japanese theaters is their innovation. The MX4D for an extra 1,000 yen. You can feel the wind in your face, the mist. Your seat might shake when an exciting moment happens in the movie, and it might be worth checking out. Now that you got your ticket, it's time to buy some food. The selection is a bit smaller, but just like in the States, you've got popcorn. Wait, it doesn't have as much butter. A lot of the theaters also have beer. And that's probably okay here in Japan because you don't have to worry about the guests getting completely faced and being escorted out of the building. One really cool thing about the movie theaters in Japan is they have these tiny little advertisement posters about the upcoming movies. So you can take as many as you want, you can bring them home to your friends and family back in your home country, and you'll know when your movie's coming out. Another awesome thing about the movie theaters in Japan is the memorabilia stores. And let me tell you, I thought this was so cool. Some of the most awesome items that are straight from the movie are there for you to purchase. And if you're not watching the last movie of the night, you'll have a chance to stop here after the movie finishes. Unlike movie theaters in other countries, the movie theaters in Japan are completely quiet. There is no loud laughing or talking. During the preview section, there is the unexpected treat of the anti-piracy guy. Once the movie ends, the whole audience is still completely quiet and the lights stay off until the credits finish. Also, you're to throw out your trash in the bins on your way out, so don't leave your trash. Hiroshima itself has many theaters, just like other towns in Japan. We have theaters like an IMAX, independent theaters, and even Hachosa Theater downtown. It has a slightly different selection of more artistic movies. Hachosa is great because it has comfy chairs and couches inside. The independent movie theater in Yokogawa used to solely be an adult movie theater called the Yurakuza. 
Now, it's been around for a long time and it's still around today. There's a large variety of erotic videos. So I hear. But now here in Yokogawa, they have this independent cinema called the Yokogawa Cinema. And if you take a look around, they have really cool memorabilia here, lots of old posters, and of course, a good variety of international and local movies. This independent theater doesn't have their own concessions, but they do have the policy where you can bring in your own food or you can get a cool drink from this little vending machine here. So if you're gonna meet some friends at a movie theater in Hiroshima, you may want to make clear which one you're going to, or you might get the eye. Hiroshima is famous most recently for Academy Award winning 2021 Best International Film, Drive My Car, directed by Ryusuke Hamaguchi. This summer of 2022, I myself will be in a film all across Japan called Kochira Amiko, and it releases on July 8th. I'll put some of that information in the description if you want to see it. It was a movie directed and filmed right here in Hiroshima, and I will be playing the ghost of Mozart. And that is movies in Hiroshima in Japan in a nutshell. I think it's a great experience for everyone to try out. Of course, there are places you can buy or rent movies, but the movie experience in Japan is wonderful. You might be paying a little bit more, but you're gonna get the hospital you're gonna get the great experience and maybe even bring home a cool souvenir. So go ahead and let us know if you've seen a movie in Japan and go ahead and write a comment down below telling us how it was. So here at Work Life Japan we help people learn about Japan of course but we also help people find apartments. So if you're moving to Japan in the near future or just looking for a place in the area that you're already living in let us know. The information to our stores is down below in the comments and we've got good resources about how to separate your trash and looking how to adapt to the life here in Japan. Thanks for joining us and we hope to see you in our next movie.